friends welcome to the course of php and mysql acra tutorial inside this video we will see delete employee layout if i back to browser inside last video we had created the layout of this edit button now this time we will see for this delete button so whenever we click on this delete button it will open a delete layout where it will ask a confirmation and if we click on yes button then on the functionality it will go and delete that specific employee but for now we are working on our layouts so this time we need to create our delete employee layout so back to editor now this is for add employee, list employee, edit employee. So inside this project setup, here we have a file called delete-employee.php. So what I will do, I will copy the layout of this list employee. Let's copy the source code or HTML skeleton of this file. Go back to delete employee and paste it here. Back to browser. Let's open a duplicate tab and I will call it as delete-employee.php and we can see this is our list employee layout. Let's go back and change our settings. So this is all about delete employee. Go here, delete employee, panel heading, delete employee and inside this we don't need any buttons. So I will remove these two buttons. Inside this panel body, we don't need this table, so I will remove this table as well. Save these changes. Go here. Let's reload. So this is delete employee and delete employee panel. Now inside this delete employee panel, we want a alert. For alert, inside bootstrap, here we have some special classes. So we will use alert classes of bootstrap. Go back to editor. Inside this panel body, let's create a div and I will call it as inside this class attribute something called alert alert hyphen danger and right here or instead of danger I will call it as info and let's say that are you sure want to delete this employee record question mark Let's save these changes, go and reload. Now we can see that here we have an info box and inside this info box we are getting some message. Now we want two buttons here that is a yes button and no button. Now if we change the class, let's do danger. Save this change, go and reload. Now we can see that we are getting a red colored message and it's fine. Now let's add two options here. So what I will do right here, let's be a tag and I will create two buttons. Let's create anchor tag. This is yes button and another anchor tag. Let's no button. So for now, I will put void links. Let's save this change. Go and reload. So we can see here we have a yes button and no button. But inside this anchor tag, we are not using bootstrap classes. So let's use bootstrap classes and we'll give a better look and feel. So class btn btn success and for this no button btn btn and let's say default. Now if we save these changes, go back to browser, reload this page. Now we can see here we have a yes button and no button. Now we want some space in between this, this line and these two buttons. So I will put one more BR tag. Save this change, go and reload. So here we have the layout of delete employee. This is all about the message and here we have two options. So in the functionality, whenever we click on this yes button, it will go and delete that employee from this list as well as from database. So this page will be opened whenever we click on delete button of any employee from this list employees. So whenever we click on this delete button, it will go and open this message. 
this message is asking for the confirmation whenever we click on no button it will go inside our index page that is for the dashboard page and whenever click on this yes button it will go and delete from database as well as from this list and redirect back to this list employees layout so this is overall guys what we have created for this add employee let's open this is for add employee list employee delete employee as well as if we open this is for edit employee so all these four layouts now ready we want now next in the next video we'll create our main dashboard page and inside main dashboard page we will see two buttons that is add employee and list employees this is very simplest design in comparison of all these designs what we have created so once we do this page next we'll see the functionality of all these sections what we have created so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day